Hey y'all, Data Orchestration Guru here today. And today we're gonna to be going through something a little more use case driven. Today we're gonna to be talking about how you can use Airflow to orchestrate Census, which is a operational analytics platform that lives on top of a Snowflake database to leverage your existing data warehouse data to use that to actually just send out automated emails to customers for re-engagement. So the logic we'll use for this one today is, you know, just, hey, has a customer bought within the last 90 days and opt in to receive marketing emails. And so with that, without setting up, you know, a ton of extra machinery, you can just set up a simple DAG that'll take all customers that match those particular values from a database that you already are using, and then use that to send out marketing and engagement emails to target them for re-engagement. Um, so it's just a great way if you want to get more out of your customer data, you want to set up more automated flows um, for you know, just increasing that top of funnel. Um, and those conditions I mentioned, they, those don't have to be yours. You know, it's very, you'll see when I get into this, the ability to set conditions is very flexible. So whatever you use as a barometer for your customer health, you could plug in there and use it instead of, you know, my admittedly very basic uh, conditions. Um, additionally, you know, you can use this to configure things other than emails, but we're gonna be focusing on just saying, hey, look at these customers that are already living in our database. And then the ones that we have set up a framework to detect are the, have the highest propensity to rebuy, send them an email for re-engagement. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we're gonna start as all good DAGs start with importing all of our libraries and packages. So here you're gonna need the typical daytime time delta. You're gonna need a DAG decorator so we can use that sweet task flow API. Use the chain model operator so we can just use this to chain our operators together. Um, dummy operator, you already know what that is. Um, then the snowflake operator, census operator, and a census sensor. Those are the three important ones that we're gonna be using here. Um, Snowflake to interact with the underlying database, census to actually conduct and orchestrate that emailing campaign, and then the census sensor to detect state changes and use those to inform other downstream tasks. Um, so once you've got the, all those in place, we can get started with the actual fun stuff. So now we're just gonna get right into the DAG code writing. So we're gonna define a DAG, again, with that task flow API DAG decorator, best practices, um, get a DAG ID in there, start date, schedule interval, catch up, set it to false, default args, set some retries, um, because you know whenever you're working with custom time data, it's always good to have a retry just to account for a little bit of failure. Um, well, not failure, just delays, let's call them. Um, set a markdown document and set our default view to graph. That's just because I love the graph view on the Airflow UI. And then call it the census sync for a customer re-engagement. And now we can get right into the tasks. So first, you're gonna have a dummy operator, but that's not really you know that special. The actual first operator is going to be the Snowflake operator. So for this is what we're going to do is create that table I mentioned earlier within Snowflake of any customers that have placed an order in the last 90 days and have opted in to receive marketing emails. So what this is gonna do is give us our automated database pulling from our existing customer base that we're gonna to use to send an email campaign to. Um, so you can see here within the code, Snowflake operator, set a task ID, and then we're just using a very se simple SQL statement um, you know, inserting into marketing campaign, any customers for engagement, um, creating a new database or data set, if there isn't one that already exists, but we're assuming that we already have, this data set already does exist. So if you obviously haven't <laughs> created a customers for engagement data set, you'll need to do that before running this. Um, and then, you know, just pulling in, hey, based on these conditions, um, which I've already explained, select those customers, give them your customer name, names, uh, ID and email address. Um, and there we go. So now we got the basis for our email campaign. We got everything together. Um, and again, this is where if you wanted to bring in your own logic to say which customers you want to target, this is where you'd put it, is in the Snowflake operator. As you're creating the ta data set, that'll be used for all subsequent tasks here. The next thing we're gonna do here is take that data set and sync it with Census. So taking all that data, syncing it into Census, which is the marketing platform that we're using to actually send out our emails. So with Census, it's actually pretty simple. And what you need to do is you'll actually be setting up your sync um, externally between Snowflake and Census. So this is assuming you've already set a sync between Snowflake and Census and are just calling the sync ID here. So if you haven't set a sync already, you're gonna need to do that. Um, and then take whatever sync ID it gives you and plug it into the Census operator. And then this will say, hey, 
at this point in time, sync all that Snowflake data we just pulled together, bring it into census. Um, so it's meant to be used on like an ongoing basis, which is exactly what we're doing here. We're creating an automated pipeline. So, you know, whether daily, weekly, monthly, or pulling customers, bring them into census and then sending out that email blast. Next thing we're gonna do is give ourselves a little bit of insurance. So we have a census sensor here, how to say that time three times fast, um, that we're gonna check the status of, of this previous census operator run every 30 seconds. So this is using that sync run ID that's returned from census operators. You can see sync ID here. Um, and passing it into the census operator task using uh, XCOMs. And the way it's using XCOMs here is by adding this dot output. So it's taking the whatever task, whatever output this task spits out, this is what this census sensor is waiting for. And we set a poke interval of 30 seconds for it. Um, so pretty simple stuff. It's just basically making sure that this actually worked before we go downstream and gives us you know, a notification if that sync actually failed because the census operator won't really let us know. Um, so it's important to have a census sensor in here as an insurance policy. Now we'll just add a quick and dummy operator and we're all set. So this is not that complex of a pipeline to set up, but it is really useful if you're trying to automate some of your marketing functions. Um, so to tie it all together, let's set our task dependencies using that good old chain uh, function that we brought in earlier. So using the chain op function, uh, this is just great for if you are just using a direct linear flow and don't want to bother with all the bitmapping, just plug all your tasks into the list and then it'll chain them together one after the other. Um, so, you know, not useful for complex tasks, but for something like this, it's great. Um, and so now that we got that done, we are all set and off to the races. So let's take a look at what this graph looks like and then we'll uh, tie it all off. So like I said, really simple operator flow. You know, you have our beginning empty operator, you have our snowflake operator, pull that table together, syncing it to census, and then having census send out those marketing emails. Um, so the reason I wanted to do this video is just to showcase like you can get a lot of value out of Airflow without a ton of setup. You know, all this code obviously is gonna be in the link below, but it's really easy to get a pipeline like this set up and take a function that you might be relying on a marketing manager or someone else to actually conduct manually and just having it be fully automated based on some conditions you set. So, you know, even though it might take you a half hour to set up, you can save, you know, dozens of man hours over the course of a year by having Airflow orchestrate this versus doing it manually or with, you know, a proprietary scheduling tool. Um, so I really hope you learned something today. If you did, drop a like, maybe a subscribe, always appreciated. Um, and if you have any other topics that you'd like me to go into, any use cases that you, know, you or your business is interested in exploring, let me know. And I can throw some in together and make a video on it. Um, so hope you have a good one and bye.